And now I'm going to show you a bat with a 160 for both of the wings. I'm going to use a skull face and I'm not going to put any pinch twist in this one. So you don't absolutely have to put the pinch twist in. It's just an option that I like to do to hold the head up and to hold the head where I want, but you don't need to. And it holds it on the stick better, but this one will probably work just fine because it's a 160 for the wings and everything's just a little smaller than the other one, which is really big. I'm, I'm going to show you how to put on a front faced uh, print design onto your bat wings. And, and normally the knots out here for the spider faces and you twist it in half, but I'm going to show you how to use this one. So you want to take your print five inch or six inch round and inflate it to about four inches, you know, so it fits like right in your hand like a grapefruit. And then inflate a 160. I'm going to use black ones for the wings the whole way and let a puff of air out so it's a little mushy and tie the ends together. So squeeze a little bit of the air out right there at the very end and just tie this together right like that. And I also have one of my little 12 inch sticks. I believe this is 12 inches. It might be 14 inches. Oh, here I can measure it. Here it's 16 inches. <laughs> it's a 16 inch stick and I get these from Brody's. So now I know these are 16 inch sticks and they work really nice to put your balloon animals on. I love them and I use them all the time. You might be able to find them somewhere else, I'm sure. But what we're gonna do, tie the ends together on your 160 and separate it, the balloon with your thumbs out like this so you know where half of it is. Go clear up here and flip it around so there's a twist up here and then bring this the whole way down here and twist this together and now what we're gonna do is take your print face this is a front print face and we're gonna hold on to this knot and kind of put your thumb over this knot squeeze the air out to the sides and we're gonna turn it together so the face is gonna kind of bulge out here. Looks like some of that broke apart, but I could fill that in with a Sharpie if I want to. So I'm going to go right like this. I don't know how much hair do you want in there. I'm going to split mine in half like this. It's a little smaller on this side. And then I'm going to take this right around this center part. And just flip it so it doesn't come undone. Turn this. And then go up here like you do on the bigger bat and hold it and flip this up to put a bend up here. Hold it to put a, a bend up at the top here. Go way out to the sides. Do the same thing that you did for the bigger one. Go out to the sides. And then put two little things in here. Bend this up. And flick it with your finger. Flick this with your finger. I'm just pushing it down in so there's a two little bumps here. My two little camel bumps. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm holding it like this and I'm just gonna pluck this up and do it straight like this. I'm pushing this down and bending that up until I have my bat wings like this. I'll take that and I'll try to fill it in. Ooh, messed up. Ooh, all the paint's coming off now. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but here, messed them up a little. Here is um, my skeleton bat, and put the stick on. You just, you just roll it in, roll it in right there in front or behind the wings, doesn't matter. And then you pass these out. And the kids can fly these around. They're really cool. And here you go.